We are coming out of a very busy week and heading into another busy week. Last night we got the second cutting of hay all picked up and now we are switching gears back over to the house. Yeah, now that we have the foundation completed for our future garage slash apartment build, we are moving on and looking forward to getting the patio completed at the front of our house. But before we do that, we have to plan exactly what the layout's gonna be. You thinking it's over? Yeah, how far we wanna come out from this side of the house. This is the most important part of the entire patio right here. Hot tub. Jeremy soup. Gross. <laughs> He's gonna sit there and stew. I think if we come out 10 feet, let's just see what that looks like. Maybe go 12. That's 10 feet, what do you think about that? Mm, I don't know, that doesn't seem big enough. And then you wanna make this rounded here already? I just don't want any straight edges. I want everything to be roundy. So it turns out that there are a lot of really big decisions that have to be made with putting thought into exactly what we want this patio to look like. Obviously we need a nice big flat spot on the side of the house set up for our hot tub. And then Melissa wants everything to have a real naturally flowing free edge. So she's trying to incorporate some curves along the way. But at the same time, we're having to figure out where to end this and how to tie it back into the garage space and also keep it somewhat symmetrical at the front of the house. So we have things laid out roughly right now. We're going to walk it, look it over once more, confirm that this is what we like. Then I'll get some marker paint put down and make sure that our excavation guy is digging right where he should be. Now that we got the line for the patio mark, we're gonna get this extension cord out of the way. Our neighbor's on his way back with the first load of gravel. We are going to get the foundation for the garage apartment filled in first, and then they're gonna start digging out this patio. Okay, so I'm hiding inside the house because it's really loud out there. They just completed backfilling the foundation for the garage and apartment build. They did gravel anywhere where there's going to be concrete or asphalt, and then everything else got backfilled with the native soil. So our native soil is clay, which means it freezes and it heaves and it cracks. And any crack is going to be transferred to the asphalt or the concrete above it. So what they're doing now is they're digging down 12 inches anywhere where we are going to be pouring a walkway or a patio or a driveway. And then they're going to put a liner in and then backfill that with some fine gravel. And then we will be pouring on top of the gravel. That is the best thing that we can do with our native soil. Clay is just a really complicated thing to work with. So since they are going to be digging out the whole front of the house, Jeremy and I need to hurry up and get some appliances moved in because our goal for the week is to get a few of those hooked up. We're going to start moving things over to the house, but before we do that, when we came in here, we noticed that there was a hummingbird that was trapped and was stuck in the barn. I think it may even be injured or maybe just it's really just tired. tired. Either way, I know I screwed this up before. Melissa has captured one previously back in the house by hand. I messed that up when she tried to release it. We're going to do the same thing this time and try to capture it in some slow motion footage. Nice job, Mommy. You proud of yourself? Yeah. You rescued your Hummer. 
My Hummer? That's what I call them, they're Hummers. Pay no attention to that. Let's move these appliances inside. Instead of the traditional door microwave where you just set the food in, this is a drawer where you open it like a drawer and you set the food down inside of it. So we've never actually owned one of these, but we've heard really good things about them. They are becoming more and more popular and I just like the look of them. They are down and they're hidden instead of being up high in your kitchen. We had our cabinets made for a microwave drawer. So crossing our fingers that we like it because we're gonna have a real design issue on our hands if we don't like this microwave. It's kind of like Christmas because I don't even remember what these appliances look like anymore. Me neither. This is your thing. Not that I don't care. You're just... I ordered these in January. They're just things that I care more about. Appliances. Don't excite me like this shit. I don't know why. No one's as excited about this dishwasher than you guys. True. All right, it was easy to get that microwave and that dishwasher in here. Let's see if we can make the fridge work. Super excited for new appliances. How nice is it going to be to have the fridge that doesn't cry? <laughs> <laughs> Every night. <laughs> so we currently have a fridge in the tiny home that's it's only 10 years old. Yeah. And the freezer every night for whatever reason like thaws and water ends up all over the place. So we end up having every towels night. to lay on the floor. It's a mess. So yeah. like I said, I'm not super excited about new appliances, but having regular properly functioning ones, yeah. it's gonna be super nice. Yeah, the, you don't have to shove the towel on here every night. You know if it's like Eagles, right. if it didn't fit in there. Better fit. Let's make sure so we can sleep tonight. Oh, it's gonna fit like a glove, mama. Like a glove. Nice and tight, just the way. No. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Like a glove, mama, like a glove. Look at it, isn't it beautiful? I think we should just leave that, huh? Maybe for the sake of like <laughs> the kids. We should cover our whole house in this. And Eli's head. That's some nice fridge, mama. That's the nicest fridge we've ever owned. By far. Oh yeah. <laughs> our fridge right now pees itself every night. <laughs> <laughs> this one doesn't pee, then we're in good shape. Oh that space. Wow. So again, with this refrigerator, we went with black stainless to match all the rest of the appliances here in the kitchen. And we've never owned this like French door style of refrigerator over the stackable freezer drawers. Makes for a lot more space. Where a family of six, we have a tendency to burn through all the available space we have in our refrigerator. So this is really nice. This is a massive upgrade for us. It's getting later in the day. We did get all the appliances moved in, but our concrete guys have since left the property. They will be back working tomorrow, digging out that whole front. So I'm glad we got these in here. Our electrician is supposed to be showing up bright and early in the morning. Once he gets all of the outlets in, we can start installing appliances. Very exciting. Yeah, there's a lot that's happening around here. A lot of moving parts, a lot of yeah. people that we are now relying upon to get some stuff done. But uh, yeah, high stress. But again, happy to see the progress that's being made.
Okay, so this is probably the most people that we have ever had here working. We have an entire team of electricians here. Hopefully they get a lot of that stuff done. And we also have the crew here that is digging out the patio. So lots going on today. It's really exciting to see this progress. With things bustling on the house, I am sneaking in here to grab Jerry and I a decent meal. I've been trying to avoid grabbing the first thing in front of me that's completely lacking in nutrition, so we have been loving this Factor food. Factor makes meeting our nutritional goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to our doorstep. With Factor, there is zero mess and zero prep except for a couple of work steps. Each meal arrives pre-prepared and ready to eat in just two minutes. Factor offers keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, and vegan plus veggie options. You can get anything from plant-based to seafood to reach your daily nutritional goals. They also have meal plans that really offer a great variety with a rotating weekly menu of 25 plus meal options and Factor Plus add-ons. We are so busy with our home build and Factor is by far the most convenient way to make sure that we get a healthy lunch in us and it takes all the guesswork out of wondering what we're going to eat and saves me trips to the grocery store. So as you guys know, we love the convenience of HelloFresh and HelloFresh actually owns Factor. So now you guys get to enjoy both brands at a discount with us. To check out Factor for yourself, head to go.factor75.com slash goodsimpleliving130 and use code goodsimpleliving130 to get $130 off across six boxes. That is $130 off six boxes when you go to go.factor75.com slash goodsimpleliving130 and don't forget to use our code goodsimpleliving130. Getting excited, Mama? This is one step closer to hot tubbing it. No soaking with the Sousa. I can feel it now. Hmm? Maybe it's the heat. Oh, that's exciting. Can't wait for that hot tub. Okay, I think the pump goes on this side. Yes, it does. So Seems like it. Go. Are we setting this the whole way in? You want it all the way in? Um, uh, might as well. All right. Let's grab the pump. So today is the first day in quite a number of days where we haven't had a bunch of people here on the property, whether it was our family who was here staying with us last week to celebrate our family birthdays or I mean the excavation guys, we've had electricians on site, we've had concrete guys on site. It has been incredibly, incredibly chaotic and hectic. Yeah, but today is Saturday, which means nobody is here and it is the perfect day for us to get in the house finally and get some stuff done that we've been needing to do. If you're gonna unpackage all that stuff, I'm gonna forfeit my man card and review these directions real quick here. Real men read directions. Even though it can't be that difficult, you never know. Project number two is going to be getting all the handles on our fridge and our freezer because our fridge in the tiny home is on the fritz. The fridge on the fritz. Fridge on the fritz. <laughs> F-O-T-F. <laughs> it's a fridge on the fritz. Yeah, we named him fritz. So. We named him puddles. <laughs> <laughs> So now we have a new functioning fridge, which is a great insurance policy. We're gonna get some handles put on that. Right, can we shut that side? Ooh, that was good. That was a rugged fridge, mama. You like Rugged? it? I think so, yeah! It's tactical black, my favorite color. I love the black stainless, it looks good. 
Our fridge project is complete and we are going to be moving on to the microwave. Now, while we are very impressed with the space inside this fridge, we are very underwhelmed with the freezer space because actually in the top drawer, half of the drawer is just for ice cubes. Yeah, it's got a weird ice bucket setup where it actually dumps all of the ice into the bucket and then it comes with a scoop, you grab it, a little weird. It is a little weird, but it is what it is. So we are going to be purchasing a small chest freezer to store inside the pantry for things like meat because what are you doing? Speaking of chest freezers and meat. <laughs> so the next thing we have to work on is our microwave drawer, which sounds really weird to say, but that's what we ended up going with. It's a totally new experience for us, kind of like we mentioned before. So we're gonna grab that thing, we'll get it plugged in, and hopefully this is smooth sailing. Fingers crossed, mama. Microwave drawer. One, two, three. See Dopsy. Slide it in. Let's make sure the ball goes up. Oh my gosh, it's too short. It's not it's funny. Not, it's not too short. It's not funny, is it? It's fine. A reoccurring problem around here for our family. We got everything in place and what we discovered is that this uh, installation flange that you screw through to get everything secure on here doesn't have a backer because the rough opening, I guess, within this cabinet unit is a little wider than we need it to be. So we're gonna have to pull this thing back out. I'm gonna have to make some minor modifications to tighten that space up and then we'll get this thing plugged back in and actually install it. Went outside and I found some scrap one by three material that we had laying around and cut that down to size. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'll get these plugged in here. We will screw them to the cabinet units themselves. And that should give us the proper width to work with this microwave. So we'll secure those, we'll get the microwave reinstalled and have them to rescue. Plugged in, good to go? Yep, it's good. Good shot, hit that button. Ooh, look at that. Zero effort. Most I have seen the future. In the future, is drawer microwaves. Microwave is in. Jeremy is reviewing the manual for the dishwasher. That is the last thing that we need to get installed today. It's gonna be a while. What about it? Spent a couple minutes getting to the junction box that is set up here on the bottom of this dishwasher, the bottom of the front face, I guess. So cracking that open, there is no 120 volt plug that comes off of this dishwasher. So we're gonna have to piggy tail and make our own. We've got a hot neutral and ground in the junction box. I'm gonna grab some 14-2 wire, get that run down and uh, through the bottom of this thing. Then we'll plug it back into the outlet that's set up under the sink. This fly is driving me crazy. I see it, I got it. Yeah. Just pull enough length to, actually I'll drill that hole out. We just need to make sure we have enough length to make it to that outlet. It's the wrong tool. <laughs> there it goes, there it goes. cutters out here. Ah, there it is. I told you. Okay, we got our plug connected. I connected all the wires, got them, I guess, hardwired back into the dishwasher using some of these twist caps. So we're gonna put the junction box back and then we'll get started on our little front panel here. You gotta want it. So I don't wanna name any names, but we have a compatibility issue in more ways than one. With the water supply line, <laughs> with the water supply line for our dishwasher. No, I actually made a mistake. I picked this thing up and then I compared it to the fittings that we have that we have to connect to on the dishwasher and I need a male end. That is not what I came home with and that sounds really inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> We've been out here too long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we don't have what we need basically. So I don't have to run back to the hardware store, get a different line and we'll get the water hooked up down the road. It's not, it's not super urgent. We're not living in here yet, so. All right, well, I guess since we don't have the proper male appendage, we'll go ahead and get this front panel put on. Wait, we can't do it without the appendage. What? Because then it'll fall over. I'll put a temporary screw in <laughs> with the male appendage. <laughs> 
Now the dishwasher going in is very much like a flushing toilet. It's a convenience that we haven't had for the past two and a half years. I've always had a dishwasher in my life, so to go to not having one with four kids that homeschool, meaning breakfast, lunch, and dinner are all eaten at home, we go through a lot of dishes. So we do a lot of hand washing. Definitely, definitely looking forward to having a dishwasher back in our lives. So this is black, mm -hmm. which I know you're gonna lean towards. This is bronze which is gonna look a little different, but kind of a little fancy, and it will match the stove. If you're asking me to just pick a color, you already know. I already know. Tactical, Tactical black. black, all day, all night. Woo! I know, but we have the opportunity to do something a little bit different. Then go copper. But do you hate it? I mean, I don't prefer it. After much discussion, I'm gonna let Jeremy win this one. I probably would have gone copper because it looked a little fancier and it would match the stove. But Jeremy likes tactical black. Be black. And he raises a good point. Everything on the island is black. There's no copper accents and it matches all the hardware. But I'm gonna save this because I might change my mind like a year from now. Simple as that. That was so simple. No, this was actually a total pain to install. <laughs> but we wanted to make sure that we at least gave ourselves the opportunity to get all of our appliances installed before our countertops, which are supposed to be here when? Next week. Next week. So while we will have to pull this back out, it gives us an idea of what it looks like. And we're very familiar now with how everything goes. So we just got to tie the drain line back in under the sink yep. and find a new water line, water supply line to uh, hook up and we'll be good to go. So in the meantime, let's go do something that's more fun. All right. It's our new microwave. What do you see? Boom. Eli got it. Hit it. Oh. Oh. This week was busy and crazy and honestly a little overwhelming. I wouldn't say that we miss our old lives, but we do miss not having everything feel so chaotic. The progress has been fantastic, but we're craving our home life back. When the noise of the gravel trucks and all of the machinery quieted, I was reminded of why we're doing this. And at the end of the week, all we wanted to do was walk with the kids and dig our hands in the dirt and play in the garden. For a while now, the destination has felt a little scary because we've spent so much time focused on the journey. But I'm realizing now that arriving isn't something to be feared. It doesn't mean that our adventure is over, but it does mean that we won't be working every day until dark and stressing over budgets and timelines and material shortages. I get to worry about torturing my kids with way overdone American history units and worrying about what animals are ready to be bred and getting all of my tomatoes processed before the fall rains hit. I get to worry about all the things that I'm truly passionate about. It's funny how all the little things that drive you nuts in life can turn out to be the exact things that also keep you sane. And how all the things that you once felt were mundane and regular, everyday happenings that you never even noticed before, are actually all the things that you end up missing the most.